This is a reading from the Baltimore Catechism. Jesus is the door to heaven. By baptism we enter this door. 24. Baptism. We read in the Holy Bible, Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. If anyone enter by me, he shall be safe, and he shall go in and out, and shall find pastures. The thief comes only to steal and slay and destroy. I came that they may have life, and have it more abundantly. John chapter 10, verses 7 to 10. Explanation. Baptism is birth to a new life. The sacraments are actions of our blessed Lord on our soul. Baptism is a sign of Christ acting on our soul and, it, and in it to give it divine life. In baptism, we first receive the Holy Spirit into our souls. Our Lord has said, Unless a man be born again of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. John chapter 3, verse 5. Baptism frees us from the devil. We are born with souls that are dead in original sin under the power of the devil. Baptism gives us the new life of sanctifying grace and frees us from the power of the devil. Once we have been baptized, the devil can never hurt us unless we let him in. In baptism, we promise to live our lives for love of God in imitation of Christ and not for love of ourselves in imitation of the devil. We promise that we will love him with our whole heart and soul and try to please him in everything. Baptism is the door to the sheepfold. Jesus is the door to heaven and to the church. But baptism is also called the door because by it we enter into Jesus. We become one with him in his mystical body. We become members of his mystical body and live with his life. Only those who pass through the door of baptism are members of the church, the sheepfold of Christ. Baptism is also the door to the other sacraments, no one can receive any other sacrament until he is first being baptized. Practice. Live your baptism today by choosing what pleases Christ, even when it is something you don't like. It pleases our Lord when we don't argue. You see a little boy playing baseball. <coughs> Catechism. What is baptism? Baptism is the sacrament that gives our souls the new life of grace, by which we become children of God. What sins does baptism take away? Baptism takes away original sin, and also actual sins, if there be any, and all the punishment due to them. Baptism washes away all sins. If a person were to die right after baptism, he would go straight to heaven, but he would not increase his love of God the way he could if he remained on earth longer. Who can administer baptism? The priest is the usual minister of baptism, but if there is danger that someone will die without baptism, anyone else may and should baptize. Who would, who would you give baptism? I would give baptism. Sorry, how would you give baptism? I would give baptism by pouring ordinary water on the forehead of the person to be baptized, saying while pouring it, I baptize thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Other readings from the Bible. Our need for baptism. John chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. 2. How baptized persons should live. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Class liturgical action. 1. Say or sing Psalm 99. This psalm expresses the joy we should have as baptized members or sheep of our Lord's flock. 2. Repeat the class liturgical action given in Lesson 5. Jesus makes his sheep strong to spread the faith. 25. Confirmation. We read in the Holy Bible, Behold, I am sending you forth like sheep in the midst of wolves. Beware of men, for they will deliver you up and scourge you, and you will be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a witness to them and to the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, do not be anxious how or what you are to speak, for what you are to speak will be given you in that hour. 
For it is not you who are speaking, but the Spirit of your Father who speaks through you. Matthew chapter 10, verses 16 to 20. Explanation The Holy Spirit comes upon the apostles. Before our Lord ascended into heaven, he told the apostles that he would send them the Holy Spirit. He would guide them and tell them what to say when they were delivered up to the enemies of God. Our Lord kept his promise on Pentecost when he sent the Holy Spirit upon the apostles in the form of tongues of fire. On that day, a complete change took place in them. After they were filled with the Holy Spirit, they were no longer afraid. They went forth filled with the love of God. They preached the gospel without fear. They were willing to suffer all things for our Lord, even death. Confirmation makes us strong. Confirmation is an action of Christ, our Good Shepherd, by which he strengthens us through the power of the Holy Spirit to go out and spread our faith. This power of the Holy Spirit is so great that it makes the sheep of the flock of Christ stronger than the wolves, the enemies of the church. It helps us to love all others and to give them the good example needed to bring them all into the sheepfold of Christ. It makes us willing to suffer all things, even death, for the sake of Christ. It makes us generous with God in giving our time and our abilities to help us as much as we can in the work of spreading the kingdom of God on earth. Practice. Learn all you can about your religion so that you may love God more than yourself and have more light to spread that love to others. I try to read a pamphlet every week, says one girl to another in front of the stand where they keep them. Catechism. What is confirmation? Confirmation is the sacrament through which the Holy Ghost comes to us in a special way and enables us to profess our faith as strong and perfect Christians and soldiers of Christ. To profess our faith means to believe in it and to live by it. 152. What is the usual? Who is the usual minister of confirmation? The bishop is the usual minister of confirmation. In case of necessity, a priest may be given the power to confirm by the Pope. 153. Why should all Catholics be confirmed? All Catholics should be confirmed in order to be strengthened against the dangers to salvation and to be prepared better to defend their Catholic faith. The sacrament of confirmation is not necessary to enter heaven. It is necessary, however, to make us strong in our faith and ever ready to defend and spread it. Other readings from the Bible. The account of Pentecost, Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. 2. The example of the early Christians, Acts chapter 2, verses 42 to 47. Class liturgical action. Say or sing Psalm 45. This psalm sings of the strength and freedom from fear that comes to those who serve God. Jesus promised to feed us with his flesh and blood. 26. The Holy Eucharist. We read in the Holy Bible, I am the bread of life. I am the living bread that has come down from heaven. If anyone eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The, Jew, the Jews on that account argued with one another, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus therefore said to him, said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you shall not have life in you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has life everlasting, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. John chapter 6, verses 48 to 57. Jesus promised us his body and blood. Our Lord gave this promise when speaking in the synagogue at Capernaum. He was speaking to the people who had seen him multiply the loaves and fishes to feed them the day before. Many of them refused to believe that our Lord could give them his own flesh and blood. The apostles, too, could not understand how this could be. But they believed our Lord's words. The Eucharist is the sacrament of the body and blood of Christ. The Holy Eucharist is a sacrament. It is an action of Christ by which he offers himself to the Father 
as a sacrifice for us and then comes to us as the food and drink of our soul. In this sacrament, he keeps his promise to give us his flesh to eat and his blood to drink. The Eucharist is a sign of food and drink. The Holy Eucharist is a sign. It is a sign which looks like bread and tastes like bread, but it is really the flesh and blood of Christ as the food and drink of our soul. In the Holy Eucharist, the Good Shepherd feeds his sheep with the bread of life, which is his flesh. We need this food to live as sheep of the fold of Christ and to keep his life strong and growing in us. Without it, we would grow sick and die on the way. To be good and strong, we need it often. The Eucharist is a sign of Christ with us. The Eucharist is a sign of the presence of Christ among us. He is really present in the tabernacle. We cannot see him there, but he is really there. He wants to be with us always so that we can come to him at any time. He loves to listen to us and to have us speak to him. We are his sheep and he loves us. Practice. Make a daily visit to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Talk to him in your own words and listen. Catechism. What is the Holy Eucharist? The Holy Eucharist is a sacrament and a sacrifice. In the Holy Eucharist, under the appearances of bread and wine, the Lord Christ is contained, offered, and received. In Lesson 27, we shall learn about the Eucharist as a sacrifice. 155. When did Christ institute the Holy Eucharist? Christ instituted the Holy Eucharist at the Last Supper, the night before he died. What happened at the Last Supper when our Lord said, This is my body, this is my blood? When our Lord said, This is my body, the bread was changed into his body. And when he said, This is my blood, the wine was changed into his blood. Did anything of the bread and wine remain after they had been changed into our Lord's body and blood? After the bread and wine had been changed into our Lord's body and blood, there remained only the appearances of bread and wine. What do we mean by the appearances of bread and wine? By the appearances of bread and wine we mean their color, taste, weight, and shape. The appearances of anything are the things we can see, touch, and taste. The substance of anything is what it is. The appearances in the Holy Eucharist are what look, looks like bread and wine. The substance is our Lord himself under these appearances. When did Christ give his priests the power to change bread and wine into his body and blood? Christ gave his priests the power to change bread and wine into his body and blood when he said to the apostles at the Last Supper, Do this in remembrance of me. Other readings from the Bible. 1. The manna which God gave the Israelites. Exodus chapter 16. This was a type or symbol of the Eucharist which Christ would give as food for the soul. 2. How God fed the prophet Elias through an angel. 3 Kings chapter 19 verses 1 through 8. This also gives us an idea of the strength the food of the Eucharist gives us. Class liturgical action. 1. The great liturgical action is the Mass. Since this cannot be for performed in class, perhaps a class project can be undertaken. This would give a greater understanding of the Mass. It would also help the child to know more about the altar, the vestments, and the liturgical year. 2. Learn to sing the Tantum Ergo and to know what it means.